Hi, James Malone. It's James the Wine Guy here to share and celebrate this wine and this producer with you today. I'm sure it's a familiar bottle to many of you out there. This is Casa La Postol, Repel Valley. It's called Casa Cabernet Sauvignon. This is a 2010 vintage, a 12.8% alcohol content wine, so it's super low in alcohol. Back panel for your review here, and this is a screw cap wine. And though the packaging is pretty clever because when I first saw this, I um, thought, oh, I'm going to get my wine key to open this. I'm like, no, this is a screw cap wine. And um, so it's a little more uh, different in design. So it's, it's a really well done package um, closure there. Now, for me, this is a beautiful expression of 89% Cabernet Sauvignon, 6% Carmenere, 2% Cabernet Franc, 2% Syrah, and 1% Petit Verdot. Now, I do want to show you um, a picture of the winery here itself. And um, really, it's in harmony and beauty of the landscape. So you see the exterior and really melding into the landscape and the beautiful mountainous range in the back. And here is the interior of this building. Now, Again, a well-known producer, and uh, my understanding is uh, exported to every single U.S. state uh, or imported to every U.S. state, um, both on on-premise and off-premise retail and um, restaurants as well. And for me, I will just tell you right away, immediately, without any question, that probably Chile is the only country where you're going to see a blend uh, such as this, and it's dominant with Cabernet Sauvignon, of course. But you're going to see some kisses of Carmenere, which I've been wanting to say for a while. And that's a great thing because Carmenere, some people say it's, it's just too intense. And yet when it, you know, is blended with this wine here, it becomes a partner. It becomes something that's really a great handshake. And um, the wine combination lock is um, uh, finally uh, revealing its code and, and tasting through extremely well. And for me, it's absolutely gorgeous and beautiful. And I think that's really that key signature from Chile that you can only get from Chile. Of course, there are a few hectares and acres around the planet, but not much. Chile, the mothership of this. So here we go. I'll take a taste of this wine and tell you what it's like. I will tell you immediately that the acids are really pronounced on this wine. What's going to happen is that this wine is going to age extremely well. And uh, something to enjoy for a few years. I don't mean age it for like 15, 20 years. I mean a good 5, 10 years. It's going to hold up quite well. It's an elegant wine, a complex wine, and um, the telltale Cabernet Sauvignon characteristic of bell pepper is there in the initial taste. And for me, um, it's it's that, but it's also a great sense of complexity that comes through with so many beautiful notes. Say, um, uh, tayberry is one, uh, blackberry, black cherry, red tea, cardamom, lavender, and thyme. I give this wine a 9.1 out of a 10.0 scale. For more wine reviews, please go to jamesthewineguy.com. Subscribe to my videos on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Vimeo. Google Plus, Pinterest. Salut.